you very much, Chief Secretary, and uh, thank you, Permanent Secretary. Once again, I want to welcome you to our 11th post-Cabinet press briefing. Uh, today, Cabinet met and uh, received an out uh, update on the COVID-19 outbreak. Uh, Cabinet received this update on the country's response to the COVID-19 outbreak. This was presented by the Minister of Defense and War Veterans Affairs as the chairperson of the task force on the country's response to COVID-19 outbreak. Cabinet was informed that as the 20 April, which is yesterday, Zimbabwe's cumulated COVID-19 cases stood at 37,875 with 35,058 recoveries and 1,554 deaths. The recovery rate stood at 93%. cases being attributed to local transmission. We've got about 1,275 active cases at the moment. And regarding public transport, Cabinet noted with concern the increased flouting of COVID-19 prevention control measures, which is happening in the public transport system. And in this regard, Cabinet agreed that law and order should increase surveillance on public transporters. Cabinet was informed that the number of teachers who are reporting for duty had decreased. It is also further noted that some of those reporting for duty are not teaching the children. Cabinet wishes to reiterate that negotiations for improved conditions of service <coughs> remain open under the National Joint Negotiating Council and that the no work, no pay policy will be strictly enforced. Cabinet remains cognizant of the need to fully open all economic activities. However, in the face of the threat of a third wave, Cabinet has deferred consideration of the opening of bars and nightclubs until further notice. Then Cabinet received an update on the procurement and rollout of COVID-19 vaccines. This report was received in, uh, from the, uh, the, this report was presented by the Vice President and Minister of Health and Child Care, Honorable CGDN Chuenga. Cabinet was informed that a total of 288,229 and 36,778 people had received their first and second dose, respectively. This is across the country. The Ministry of Health and Child Care is currently carrying out vaccination campaigns all over the country. Cabinet was advised that the vaccination of residents of border towns, e.g. Motari, Bay Bridge, has been prioritized and is well on course. Cabinet notes that the strong COVID-19 surveillance system that government had put in place had enabled the, enabled the ministry to detect outbreaks early. On the 16th of April 2021, more outbreaks were reported at two boarding schools, that is at St. Davis Bonda Girls School in Manikaland and Mbakwe High School in Plum Tree. There were 145 uh, COVID cases at uh, Bonda and 91 COVID cases from the Mbakwe. For these and other stories, visit our website www.263chat.com. Follow us on Twitter at 263chat and like our Facebook page 263chat.